What's up everybody? Welcome back and I hope you're doing super well. Today I want to talk to you about why I'm going to go out here and buy a hundred million dollars worth of real estate next year. I, I've set a goal and I put it out there on Instagram last week and I said I'm going to go out here for 2023 and go after 50 million dollars worth of real estate. And after a couple days I thought about it and I was like wait a minute that goal is a little bit too small. I need to go bigger than that. So I doubled the goal and it's absolutely attainable. I want to talk to you today about the six reasons why why I'm doing this. Uh, and so if you have any questions about this or if there's anything I can help you in your real estate investing journey, let me know. I'm more than happy to share everything and anything that I can possibly share with you for absolutely free. I don't have anything to sell you here. This is just free information. And I want to document my journey here with going out and buying this $100 million worth of real estate. So make sure you subscribe to my channel here and uh, all my other social medias and everything else so you can keep up with the journey as I go along. What type of properties am I looking for? I'm looking for properties right this second. So I'm out here, you know, combing through the market every single day looking for on and off market properties that might fit exactly what I'm looking for. And the type of properties I'm looking for is multifamily. I'm looking for multifamily. Right now I'm looking for 10 to 100 units, anywhere in the southeast really. I'm primarily looking somewhere around in my market, which is Gulf Shores, Alabama, Mobile, Alabama. And I'm also looking anywhere really in Florida, Central Florida, you know, Northwest Florida, Northeast Florida, anywhere in Florida really, and Alabama is kind of where I'm really targeting right this second, but I'm going to be interested in anything in the Southeast in general. So again, I'm looking for my first acquisition. I'm going to be syndicating these deals, which is really exciting. When I learned what this was and the power of it, I said, wow, let me go all in on this and really go out there and, and see what I can do with this because the possibilities are literally limitless. So let me work through the six reasons why uh, I'm, I'm doing this and going after this property and really focusing on this. My main focuses going into 2023 are this. This is actually my main focus. And then the, my second focus right under that is going to be my in-person workshops that I'm going to be doing for real estate agents and investors all over the country. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys everything I know concerning being a real estate agent, being the top real estate agent in your market, social media, real estate investing, all that good stuff. And I just want to spend time with as many of you as possible. So I'm really excited about the opportunity to travel around and see you guys you know, for a full day and all that good stuff. But let's get into these six reasons. The number, the first reason is because I can, and I know I can. And so I believe that the potential inside of me and what I can do and what I'm capable of is there's absolutely zero limits on the head. You guys know if you've been around uh, following me for a while, how consistent I am, how hardworking I am, how disciplined I am. And I'm going to go out here and absolutely crush this. And this is something that has brought the, a new excitement, a new excitement to me that I haven't had in, in a little while, like every once in a while, I'll run into a business opportunity that excites me. So it hasn't been too long since I've, I've seen an opportunity that really excites me, but this one's a whole different level. So um, I'm really excited about that. The second reason is net worth. This is going to increase my net worth and the net worth of our family. Uh, this is going to absolutely, you know, you know, crush uh, what our net worth is now uh, to get to this level. Um, and so this first year is basically, let's go out here and buy hundred million, but next year is going to be more than that, right? 2024, I'm going to go out there and acquire more than hundred million in 2024, but baby steps, right? I'm going to start small, <laughs> start, start small at hundred million, which guys in this world that I'm getting into hundred million is actually small. That's not even that large. That's one or two deals for a lot of these guys that do this. Um, and so I'm not going to be doing that size deals. I'll probably end up doing a hundred million over five to 10 deals, something like that. Um, you know, eight, seven, eight, somewhere like that's kind of what I'm envisioning, what I'm thinking, but Hey, I might do, I might end up knocking a big one down for 30, 40 mil. So who knows how it's all going to play out. I'm just looking for opportunities. I'm looking for properties in really great locations. All right, so I want properties in really good locations, nice cash flow, um, but we know where the market is going. Okay, we know where the market is going over the next five or 10 years up. 
The market is going up. This is a no-lose situation. When you own this asset and you take care of these assets, you are set, ladies and gentlemen. So the third reason I'm doing this is for tax benefits. When you buy a property like this, you can cost what they call cost segregate the property. And that's basically where you get a letter that states what the actual building is worth and what the land is worth. And what they say is that you can take a huge chunk of what the building is worth and you can write that off on your taxes, right? 20 to 25% of the building value can be written off on your taxes. So if I go out there and buy a hundred million and let's just say that the property is worth 20 million on those properties, so you have $80 million worth of building, that's, that's $16 million that you can write off. So if you made $16,000, you don't owe any taxes. No taxes. This is how some of the biggest guys out there pay zero taxes. They go buy real estate and they use that bonus depreciation against their income and they pay zero taxes. It's absolutely, can you imagine living tax free in America? That's what some of the most wealthiest people in America are doing right now, and this is how they're doing it. Of course, I'm not gonna own the entire 100 million of this portfolio, but my part of it is going to more than pay my taxes for the next couple of years. So that's another reason why I'm super excited about this because I pay a lot of taxes. And to step into a situation where I owe zero every year and all, every dollar I make and all the income is just dollar for dollar tax free, I can go do what I want with it, invest it how I want, spend it how I want. Hello, <laughs> this is incredible. And um, I hope you guys are picking this up as I'm going here because I'm gonna teach you guys about this and I want you to know about how this works so that you can take advantage of the same stuff. The fourth reason is cash flow. So not only am I gonna own this with higher net worth, with nice tax benefits, but also I'm gonna have cash flow, right? I'm gonna have cash coming in every month. Cash, cash, cash every month. So think about that, net worth going up, pay no taxes, and I'm making money every month off of these properties. So cash flow, again, is a big one, a big reason. Everybody wants cash flow, right? Cash flow is king. So let's get it. Fifth reason is appreciation. So as I own these properties and as time goes on and inflation continues, right? Even if inflation comes down to the 2% that they want, it's 2%. Right, that along with all the other factors that create a situation where real estate values go up, I own the assets. And so now as the properties appreciate, I, I, that is more equity in my pocket that I own. The cash flow is paying the debt down. So I've got cash flow paying the debt down for me without me having to lift a finger. So I'm making, I'm creating more equity just based on the cash flow paying the debt down. But then I'm also creating equity out of thin air, just owning the property and letting time do its thing. It's an absolutely beautiful thing. And the sixth reason why I'm doing this is for legacy. This is something that I do, when I buy these key properties, I may sell one here or there, but the overall goal is to buy really great locations and never sell them. Never ever sell them. I can give them to my kids. I can give them to my grandkids and generations to come. And so this is really big for me to create that legacy in a situation where our family doesn't have to worry about money anymore. And we don't have to worry about what's gonna happen. We have assets that produce cash flow that are continuously uh, building wealth and building equity. And what's really cool is that as equity builds, and say you go five to 10 years down the road and there's enough equity there to take, there will be enough equity there that you can refi that cash out. And when you take that cash out of that loan against the equity, that's again a tax-free situation. That is a moment that you pay zero taxes. That's a non-taxable event, ladies and gentlemen. So when you refi that, take that cash out, you're putting that in your pocket. You're not paying Uncle Sam yet again. Right, and, and it's still cash flowing, you still own it, it's still paying the new debt down for you, and, and the cycle continues. That's why you never sell these assets, and this is what a lot of incredibly wealthy people do. This is how they, they build their wealth, and they keep their wealth, right, and they also have cash, 
because they borrow against the wealth. So I hope this helps you understand why I'm doing this, why I'm going all in. I hope you learned something from this, picked up something here. I wanna go more in depth with a lot of this stuff later in later videos. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments or, or DM me on Instagram. I'm still answering all my messages there. And if there's anything I could do to help you, please let me know. And if you have any deals, if you have a deal that, that you would want me to look at, send me any deal that you have. I'm looking at every single deal that comes across my email, across my desk. I'm underwriting them and trying to establish if this is a deal that I want to get involved in. So if you're a commercial broker, if you deal with multifamily or whatever the case may be, please reach out to me. I would love to work with you and be on your list to, to get those properties as they come available on or off market. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day and let's go get them. I want to, I want Look. I 35 with the top down. Quit to tell a hater they should get like me. Seem like everybody want to be the boss, but it costs and these lames ain't like me.